Okay, we are on to problem number two. Hi, uh, I'm curious how this went. Hi, uh, I hope it went well. I, uh, but now you can watch the video, see if the explanation helps you figure it out. Uh, you're welcome to modify uh, your submission and correct it if you'd like, uh, or you can wait for my comments. So. Uh, we have now got the elevator accelerating upward at two meters per second squared. Okay, the assignment says construct a force diagram, write an equation for the vertical forces on the passenger, and then calculate the force the floor exerts on the passenger. Um, but before we do that, I want to kind of get in, well, I guess I'll do the force diagram and talk about the concepts. Okay, uh, so we're going to go up. To this and I'm just going to draw the elevator again the person and we're still talking about the person okay I uh, and now number two says it's accelerating at two meters per second squared upward okay so Let's get a force diagram. It's the same as before. We haven't added any forces. We still have force normal, and we still have force gravity, but let's talk some conceptual. If my acceleration is upward, what do I know about my net forces? Right? My net force will also be upward, but I also know Right, if I've got acceleration, I have unbalanced forces. Right now, here's the thing what is going to change? Right, um, and so if I have a force normal and force gravity, will my force gravity ever change? And the answer is no, force of gravity will always be the same, your mass stays the same, and therefore your force gravity, your pull to the earth is going to be still the same, and that was 850 newtons. But what should be true conceptually, right, to make sure our um, estimation, we do some estimation, okay, what should be true about force normal? Should it be greater than force gravity? Should it be equal to force gravity? Or should it be less than force gravity? So let's try to put yourself on the elevator. If it is started at zero, right, we just get on the elevator, we push a button to two floors above, do we feel heavier, right, or lighter? Okay, I'm hoping you're gonna say that that normal force should be greater, not only because net force is upward, meaning this force should be greater than force of gravity. So that is part A. Okay, part B, right, let's make sure I need to turn my screen to make sure it's going to fit on here. What does part B say? Part B says write an equation for the vertical forces on the passenger. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just going to go to my force net equation, right? Force net equals mass times acceleration. We know this, and we know this. What are our forces? Well, we get that from the free body diagram. So uh, up, we say, I'm going to say up is positive, so force normal, that's our frame of reference. Down is negative, so force gravity is downward, so negative. Equals, guess what I have? I'm just going to do this right now. Mass times acceleration. I need to lower this, sorry. Okay, just so we have some room. That should be enough. So let's, right now, if we set this up, the rest of it is plugging what we know and doing the algebra. So, do we know force normal? Nope. Gonna leave it. Do we need force of gravity? We do know that. 850. Do we know our mass? Yeah, oh wait, what is our mass? Mass, not our force. 85 kilograms. That is so messy. I, 85, not 850, 85. And our acceleration 
they told us two meters per second squared. Right? So as far as the equation for our vertical forces, part B. Oh, looky there. Part B is basically looking for this. Force normal minus force gravity equals mass times acceleration. So once we've got that, I guess we're really on to part C. Part C is calculate the normal or the force acting on the person. So uh, 80 times 2 is 160. So 5 times 2 is 10. I've got 170. And I've got force normal minus 850. And if I'm anticipating my algebra, right? If I'm anticipating my algebra, um, I'm going to add 850 to both sides. So that's 850 plus 170. Oh gosh, I've got to do all this mental math. I know it's in the thousands. I've got two, what is that, 900, 102 newtons, okay? So we just calculated the force that has to act on, or that is acting on the individual. So if I had a scale and I stood on it while the elevator was still, it would tell me 850 newtons. And then when it started to accelerate upward, right, at two meters per second, my scale would have 1,020 newtons. Uh, so let me double check. Let me double check again. Oh, that's my dog. She likes to bark. Right, one, seven, oh, plus eight, five, oh. Yeah, one, oh, two, oh. Okay. Uh, I am going to adjust this a little bit. Maybe out a little bit. I'm going to copy clip it and I could insert that into my page and it would be totally fine, right? So if you wanted to do one A, B, and C like that and just submit it, that works fantastic. Uh, that is problem number two. I hope it went well.